The metaphor of the mountain as a symbol for the human journey and particularly for a spiritual journey is commonly known. We might say we're all climbing the mountain, ascending the hill of the Lord. In Martin Cecil's writings, he gave two talks that became chapters in a book, one entitled The Mountain and the other The Mountainside. He made the point that you don't see everything from the mountainside. You, you see what you can see from that face of the mountain. There can be false peaks you ever had that experience? You're going up, it looks like you're coming right to the, the very tippy top of the mountain, and then you realize, no, it's just a hump on the mountain side. It's not actually the peak. Martin made the point that as long as we're on the mountain side, we're not really seeing everything. Many who use that image of the mountain speak of it aspirationally. Yes. We're all going to the same mountain top and we're all ascending the mountain. Fair enough. And it is an inspiring image. I'd like to read just a few verses from a psalm that speaks of this. Who shall ascend the, into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. I'd like to rephrase it. Who shall ascend into the hill of the wonderful one within? Or who shall stand in his holy place? While I appreciate the aspirational nature of this image of the mountain, surely at some point there must be some who stand at the mountaintop. We are here to stand at our own mountaintop individually, at the mountaintop of our own life, at the highest point from our own being so that we can truly see, we can truly know. How do you know what's going on if you're wandering around down in the valley or somewhere halfway up the mountain? By the very definition of it, being halfway up the mountain is to live with a biased perspective. You just see one side of the mountain and the view from there. Surely in our own lives, we're called to be at the mountaintop. The mountaintop is the place of attunement. It's the place where the things of the invisible, the invisible truth crosses over into human consciousness. It's the place where we know love in the invisible, where it enters our heart. We become attuned to that love and we bring the attunement of that love into the mountain, into the world. Surely we're called to be at that place. And yes, it's a process. There's an aspiration to ascend the mountain. And without that aspiration, I suppose we don't do it. But surely there's teleos, which is the completeness of that journey that's needed for us, each one. <laughs>